Yeah, so guys, uh, how was the conference? What are the main things you are taking away of it? In terms of the GDPR birthday we are uh, celebrating, in terms of uh, transfers, in terms of economy that we were discussing. Yeah, maybe I can start. Yeah. So yeah, sure. definitely very interesting insights and I could probably mention quite a lot, but uh, one of the things, of course, I would say that well, Shem's presentation was quite impressive and uh, there was some interesting insights, especially about the aspect of uh, data transfer, like the new framework potentially still passing and uh, well, actually working for a while at least until it's getting challenged because it's really easy to look at these in all like developments and say, okay, maybe there is like, there is no chance, everyone is, seems to be against the new framework, but it's still a political decision that we should keep, still keep in mind that. And uh, it can still pass by just because of a political will in that context. So that was really interesting insight. And I was really appreciative that as a privacy activist, he was really taking it in a sober manner in a way that it's like, yeah, that's a really reality that we are living in. And sure, like we must strive for our privacy rights and uh, for things to be right. But at the same time, yeah, the situation can still go into different ways. So yeah, that's a very, really, really like interesting and I appreciate that. Okay, so lots of developments, uh, but the future seems bright, right? Oh yeah, definitely. Uh, and, uh, Jamal, uh, from the economic perspective and from the uh, uh, what what you were talking in your presentation about the balancing, about looking uh, at the at GDPR at at the same time about the advantages of of new technology. What's your take away? from the conference? My, my, my key takeaway from the conference is everyone's contributed something very unique from data sharing to the Data Act to joint controllership, which is a massive headache. Uh, and there's always debates about no, we're this or we're that, or we're a product controller or a processor. So I agree, it was lots of practical things to go in and consider. And I think that's what really stood out for me is there's lots of practical considerations. Sometimes you go to conferences, it's a little bit up here, it's a little bit theory, you go away, you just get on with stuff. But from this, I'm going to go, and there's lots of things I need to think about, especially is GDPR going to get broken, like Mindagos was saying. But on another thought, what I want to say is it's so nice to see so many people. I mean, we've got a full room here. And it's actually really refreshing to see so many of you here. And the demographics is something that I was saying to Mindagos is really refreshing. In the UK, if we'd have a conference like this, it'd be dominated by middle class, uh, middle aged men. Right? But here we have a beautiful uh, room full of people and majority of which are women. And this is really refreshing and it's really positive. And I hope that you can inspire other people towards the UK and beyond to actually uh, have more representation. And it is one of the areas where we're seeing growth, but this is actually re really made my day. And maybe also a few more ladies actually being on stage because I think that was a little bit... Um, yes. Save on us, save on us. <laughs> uh, yeah, Michaela, what's your take? Oh, I'll just build on what Jamal was saying. I think um, there's been really interesting interventions. Uh, everyone that has spoken will bring something or said something that will be with me. However, I will leave a little bit depressed, not because Shrems is saying that Privacy Shield 2.0 won't survive, but because Mindaugas is, of course, killing my baby <laughs> with uh, the message that he's having on Metaverse. Here I think that I'm going to be taking care of a 10-year-old in a few years, but apparently not. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So Please. what I saw today is uh, a commonality from the perspective that data sharing is needed. And of course, uh, we saw what Mindoga said, what uh, other people said about the risks uh, with, with data sharing. We have inherent risks and what we have to think about. And uh, I think uh, having uh, this fora uh, to discuss these ideas and to discuss these risks uh, makes us informed. Because, you know, you cannot know everything and uh, sharing ideas is the best way. So, and, of course, acting upon it also. Thank you. True. Uh, what I take away from, from this conference, uh, the main probably thought is that uh, the state of affairs is uh, changing rapidly right now. Uh, and we have evidence. Uh, Ilya Lars talked about it. it 
what uh, we were talking and we were, what we were thinking about uh, generative AI products six months ago uh, doesn't stand, you know, the reality right now. So uh, it seems to me that uh, this might uh, perfectly happen again with the metaverse. Uh, these surprises might come up with uh, data sharing, uh, maybe with adequacy, as uh, uh, Max Schrems uh, predicted. Maybe it will come through uh, and be adopted as soon as he thinks. Uh, yeah, and uh, like overall, we will have to be prepared for that, and we will probably have to have a different mindset. And because the uh, problems we were discussing today, almost all of them, they require some, you know, uh, going a little bit up to take a helicopter view to the GDPR, to the economy, to think uh, whether there are some other maybe interest to take for granted more than the GDPR, as we are all lawyers and we are used to. So yeah, thank you all. And I'm inviting Mindogas to the stage and to shift to the moderator again and give his uh, takeaways. Well, thank you. Nothing more to add, actually. Once again, thank you for coming here. It was our social action and social contribution to the society at large. And we are making this six, year in a row, six years in a row together with Ludas. And, and, and the team. So once again, we will try to make this as consecutive as possible. So it's already five years. They have passed, like, unfortunately, one second. And my takeaways uh, are very simple, actually. You need always to look into each and any uh, phenomena from different angles, at least from several dimensions. For example, the same as privacy. Take the privacy. You can't look it into that just from the perspective of regulation. You always need to look regulation, into innovation, technology, and business, and society. And when you look through three dimensions at least, then you have good and wanted results, and vice versa. If you just stress one, it will always lead to unwanted consequences. For example, too rigid regulation will undermine innovation and technology. It will undermine the business opportunities. And at the end of the day, it will undermine the interests of the consumers. Even if the regulation is aimed to defend the consumers, its effect may be counterproductive just because it's too restrictive and vice versa. Too loose regulation may also bring unwanted results. And I'm afraid that uh, the, the five years was quite a difficult period and I was a bit afraid as practitioner. I see that many businesses are, you know, um, having trouble with complying with a bunch of technical formalities and so on and so on. They try to be um, I mean, the thing is that they apply GDPR in a verbatim way trying to capture in and every data loss, each and every data aspects, losing the whole context and losing the whole broader picture. What I'm trying to say is that uh, applying GDPR to each and every tiny portion, I'm afraid that this attitude may lose the broader picture and bad things are really happening at the, at the broader picture. That, therefore, I hope that the next five years of GDPR will make the separation and separate critical things, which are really <laughs> important to regulate strictly, and the other things which are unfortunately unavoidable, because this is life. It's something happens bad in, uh, every day. Yeah. So, but, <laughs> but everything will be fine in a way. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, like, I mean, uh, regulation no, cannot uh, go after each and every bad thing because it's unavoidable. It should concentrate on the most critical things. Otherwise, we will lose ourselves in technical formalities yeah. and so on. So That's this true. was the idea. And the uh, conferences like this helps us to keep vigilant and to have the community to maybe ask questions if our, we are in need. Exactly. So. Uh, I want to thank all of you uh, who gathered here, who gathered behind the screens. Uh, hope you got your take. Uh, hope it's inspiring. And uh, hope you will join us again. Thank you.